Hey, welcome back to uh, Flooring My Life TV. I'm your host, uh, Donnie Gupton. And today we have a pretty cool show. We're going to talk about the uh, qualities of engineered hardwood. Uh, this is an area where I really feel that people uh, a lot of times are misinformed as to what the true qualities are, what makes a good engineered hardwood floor. Um, so you can really differentiate between uh, some of your high value products and more of your budget products. Uh, there is a difference and I think it's important that people know that. So um, I'm going to go over a couple different things with you and the first thing we're going to talk about is what cutting method that they use. What is the face that they're putting on to an engineered product? So uh, there's three different types of cutting methods. Uh, the first would be a rotary peel. So if you were to take a look at this, I know it's a kind of a funny example, we've got a paper towel here, so we're going to be actually uh, act like this is a log. So in a rotary peel, it goes through a couple different stages, um, and you know, uh, the log sitting in water and things like that, so that they can then easily basically peel a layer of wood off. Um, so what this gives you, uh, with the finished product of the actual wood, is uh, it gives you a very uniform look, but not a very strong um, you know the grain the grain is very uniform so it's not going to give you the best look that's going to give you something similar to like a three-quarter inch solid product um, but it's always typically your best about you know your best valued uh, buy so rotary peel products are typically on the products that are more on the budgeted end because they can get more out of that log so they get a little bit more uh, money out of it um, the next way would be slicing so if you were to take this same beautiful log we have here and you slice the layer off the top, that's another, another method. Um, some of the drawbacks of slicing, again, is these, these logs are soaked in water, and uh, then when it comes time for drying, there can be some other checking and, and cracking in the boards, and that's why uh, most companies have kind of gone away from the slicing, slicing method. Uh, the method that we like the most, and the, what you'll see in a lot of the products that we carry, is uh, actually what they call sawn. So it would be taking the same log and now sawing it, uh, so that you're um, getting uh, typically your biggest wear layer out of a sawn product. Um, it's going to be your most uh, dimensionally stable. Um, and that's the exact way that they're going to cut a three-quarter inch solid product. So you're going to get the exact look, um, the exact thing that you're looking for with a three-quarter inch solid product by going with a sawn, uh, sawn la uh, wear layer. So, you know, one of the qualities to the engineered flooring is uh, the sandable wear layer. So this product here is probably a peeled product. I don't have the exact spec on it, but you can see that there's a very limited wear layer up top. I mean, this is what the definition of a veneer. Uh, only would want to put this type of floor in a budgeted house or a house that you plan on moving up out in or, you know, definitely not a house that you plan on staying in for a lifetime. Um, you know, kind of go a step up here. We will take a look at uh, you know this has about a one millimeter so this can be this floor can be refinished you know about one time um, you know good quality product uh, but not going to have the biggest wear layer and then we'll kind of skip up here to um, a product like this Lausanne here and you get a nice four mil wear layer now this floor it almost becomes like a solid product almost becomes a lifetime product uh, these floors can be sanded anywhere three to five times probably if doing it properly with by a professional um, and that's really where you're going to get start getting a lot of bang for your buck so you definitely always want to buy a, a hardwood floor whether it's got the peeled rotary peel or a sawn face one with a decent wear layer uh, is going to give you the longevity that you're looking for so uh, keep that in mind when, when you're going through the shopping process next thing we'll talk about is is the core there's you know uh, so we have the veneer part and then we put that veneer on some sort of engineered core. Now the reason that engineered floors were, uh, came about was for more stability. Um, there needs to be more stability with, with uh, concrete slabs or in moisture. So what the engineering uh, does is allows you to put a you know, more stable floor down in those types of situations. So um, the types of cores that are out there, one would be, you know, your most common is, is plywood. Um, they uh, next would be probably like a high density fiber core, um, or not, excuse me, not fiber, but a high density core. Um, and then, you know, there used to be MDF cores, there used to be particle board cores. Those may still be out there, but honestly, we don't carry any products like that. And that is not going to get you any dimensional stability. So, the very best core you can get would be a plywood core. And to go even a step further, if you buy a slower growing species like uh, 
a Baltic birch or a pine, then you're going to have the best of the best core because those are going to give you the most dimensional stability. So this is a good look um, at a Baltic birch core here. This is just a sample back, but this is about a seven layers, um, nice, solid, sturdy core. That's what your plywood core is going to look like is something like that. Um, and then comparison, uh, this is an HDF core, high density core. Um, so you'll see it's more of a solid, actual solid look. So just keep your eye out as you're looking through products as what, what the core is and what it's made of, uh, especially if you're going to be installing in an in a area where there's going to be some, um, some moisture. So, um, you know, next thing we'll, we'll go over is, is the milling or the edging. So you have a couple different options. Uh, typically with a pre-finished floor, nine times out of ten, you're always going to have some sort of micro bevel, bevel, or eased edge. Um, typically you can only get a square edge with a custom sand and finished floor, but there are a few products out there that will make an actual square edge. Uh, square edge. So one of the products here is, is this is Cares, and as you can see, this is a nice square edge. There's no bevel, so you know the easiest surface to clean is one smooth surface. So Cares is a floating hardwood floor, uh, a lot of different species in their line, but most important thing here is you see that there's no beveled edge. Um, very important, one of the best ways for milling. Uh, your, next, your next option uh, is going to be something like Mirage, uh, where this has a nice, <clears throat> very tiny, what we'd call a micro beveled edge, or eased edge, it's very, very tiny. Um, <clears throat> And the reason that the edges are there most, with most products is it's hard to mill these so perfect uh, with the way subfloors are and things like that that they're all going to butt together. So that's why the beveled edge was created. It's not that somebody didn't think about making a smooth edge product. It's just hard to obtain those types of things on site. Um, that's where custom sand and finish comes into play mostly for that smooth edge. So this would be considered really one of the best of the best edges. And then, you know, you have more of your traditional true beveled edge product here. So you can see you're getting a much wider beveled edge. Now you typically see these on wider planks, hardwood floors, and you typically see this type of edging um, <clears throat> with more custom custom floors. So uh, maybe a drawback in cleaning. Uh, it's actually a really good thing for maintenance, uh, especially if you're getting into recoating your floor because then you can really uh, recoat the individual board instead of having to do the entire floor. So. Um, and then it gives you kind of a really unique look, really a custom look. So, um, you know, that's kind of pretty much what you're going to see with the, with the edging is a square edge product, a micro bevel, um, and then more of a true beveled edge. Um, last thing, or one of the last things I want to go talk about is, is board length. Um, with, a, with a solid floor, you know, you're going to really have a lot of randoms. Uh, anywhere from, you know, a lot of the custom things we buy are anywhere from 2 feet to 8 feet long. 